HIV. Human immunodeficiency virus or HIV is a virus that attacks the body's immune system. If HIV is not treated, it can lead to AIDS, acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. There is currently no effective cure. Once people get HIV, they have it for life. But with proper medical care, HIV can be controlled. People with HIV who get effective HIV treatment can live long, healthy lives, and protect their partner. Most people have flu-like symptoms within 2 to 4 weeks after infection. Symptoms may last for a few days or several weeks. Having these symptoms alone doesn't mean you have HIV. And other illness can cause similar symptoms. Causes HIV is caused by a virus. It can spread through sexual contact, illicit injection, drug use or sharing needles, contact with infected blood, or from mother to child during pregnancy, childbirth, or breastfeeding. How HIV spread? To become infected with HIV, infected blood, semen, or vaginal erection must enter your body. This can happen in several ways. 1. By having sex. You may become infected if you have vaginal, anal, or oral sex with an infected partner whose blood, semen, or vaginal secretion enter your body. The virus can enter your body through mouth, sores, or small tears that sometimes develop in the rectum or vagina during sexual activity. 2. By sharing needles. Sharing contaminate injection, drug paraphernalia, needles, and syringes puts you at a high risk of HIV and other infectious diseases such as hepatitis. 3. From blood transfusions. In some cases, the virus may be transmitted through blood transfusions. Hospitals and blood banks screen the blood supply for HIV. So this risk is very small in the US and other upper middle income countries. The risk may be higher in low income countries that are not able to screen all donate blood for during pregnancy or delivery or through breastfeeding. Infected mothers can pass the virus on to their babies. Mothers who are HIV positive and get treatment for the infection during pregnancy can significantly lower the risk to their babies. How HIV doesn't spread? You can become infected with HIV through ordinary contact. That means you can catch HIV or AIDS by hugging, kissing, dancing, or shaking hands with someone who has the infection. HIV is not spread through the air, water, or insect bite. Risk factors Anyone of any age, race, sex, or sexual orientation can be infected with HIV or AIDS. However, you are at greatest risk of HIV or AIDS if you 1 have unprotected sex, use a new latex or polyuterine condom every time you have sex, anal sex is riskier than is vaginal sex, 
Your risk of HIV increases if you have multiple sexual partner. Two, have an STI. Many STIs reduce open source on your genitals. This source acts as doorways for HIV to enter your body. Three, use illicit injection drugs. People who use illicit injection drugs often share needles and syringes. This exposes them to droplets of other people's blood. Prevention There is no vaccine to prevent HIV infection and no cure for HIV or AIDS. But you can protect yourself and others from infection. Take HIV medicine daily. Treatment with HIV medicine called antiretroviral therapy or ART helps people with HIV live longer, healthier lives. ART cannot cure HIV, but it can reduce the amount of HIV in the body called the viral load. One of the main goals of ART is to reduce person's viral load to an undetectable level. An undetectable viral load means that the level of HIV in the blood is too low to be detected by a viral load test. People with HIV who maintain an undetectable viral load have effectively no risk of transmitting HIV to an HIV negative partner through sex. Here are some other steps you can take to prevent HIV transmission. 1. Consider pre-exposure prophylaxis PREP. The combination oral drugs M3 cetabium plus ternofovir disoprofil fumarate and amitrisabium plus tenofovir olefaminate fumarate can reduce the risk of sexually transmitted HIV infection in people at very high risk. PRAP in reduce your risk of getting HIV from sex by about 99% and from injection drug use, according to the Center of Disease Control and Prevention. This COVID has not been studied in people who have receptive vaginal sex. 2. Use treatment, use treatment as prevention. If you are living with HIV, taking HIV medication can keep your partner from becoming infected with the virus. If you make sure your viral load stays undetectable, a blood test doesn't solve any virus, you won't transmit the virus to anyone else through sex. Using test B means taking your medication exactly as prescribed and getting regular checkups. 3. Use post-exposure prophylaxis if you've been exposed to HIV. If you think you've been exposed through sex, needle or in the workplace, Contact your healthcare provider or go to emergency department. Taking PAP as soon as possible within the first 72 hours can greatly reduce your risk of becoming infected with HIV. You will need to take medication for 28 days. 4. Use a new condom every time you have sex. Use a new condom every time you have anal or vaginal sex. Women can use a female condom if using a lubricant. Make sure it is water-based. Oil-based lubricant can weaken condom and cause them to break. During oral sex, use a non-lubricant cut, open condom, or a dental dam. A piece of medical grade latex. Five. Tell your sexual partner if you have HIV. It's important to tell. All your current and past sexual partner if that you are HIV positive. They will need to be tested. 6. Use a clean needle. 
If you use a needle to inject illicit drug, make sure it's sterile and don't share it. Take advantage of needle exchange programs in your community. Consider seeking help for your drugs use. 7. If you are pregnant, get medical care right away. If you are HIV positive, you may pass the infection to your baby. But if you receive treatment during pregnancy, you can significantly cut your baby's risk. The last eight, consider male circumcision. There's evidence that male circumcision can help reduce the risk of getting HIV infection.